Good morning, how are we doing? I got so caught up in my running, I realised it was 25 to 6 and missed the half five Rise to Thrive. Listen, hope you're good. Welcome to the Rise to Thrive show. I'm your host, James Borman. And if you are coming through, please do let me know. This is just going to be a quick one this morning because I want to crack on running. So look, um, I want to talk about the communication that we have with ourselves and how very much it's so important and an integral part to us showing up as not just men, but human beings. Um, you know, the communication from uh, the point where we decide to or not to have a drink, from the communication where we decide whether to show up and do exercise, from the communication where we decide whether um, we are going to finish work on time or leave early to get home. There's always a version or a communication that we have with ourselves to show up. And I think the level of that communication is determined by the standards that we set ourselves. So um, if we are happy and just make do with okay, I mean, like, I'm just getting by, I'm okay. And uh, you know, the way that we communicate with ourselves will reflect that standard that we set with, with ourselves. If we're, oh, I'm just gonna miss this workout because um, I'm not really feeling up for it or I'm just gonna press snooze because I don't really wanna get up. You know, we are setting an okay standard for us. We're happy just to show up 60, 70% of the time. If we end up setting the standard to outstanding, so I will never miss a workout, I'm gonna grind through this, I wanna change the way that I live my life then the way that we communicate our, with ourselves will reflect that standard, the values, the principles that we've set for ourselves. And that can be the difference between changing and not changing. So that standard, that requirement is, is the one that will be the difference between the people that show up and the people that don't. And to change requires decision making. Decision making requires a standard. A standard requires communication to yourself. So each one of those dots needs to be able to connect. So if you don't hold yourself to a higher accountability, if you don't communicate with yourself the reasons why you need to be doing something, the decisions that you need to be making, if you're avoiding them, if you're hiding them from them, then you're just gonna stay the same. And that's what many people do. They get hidden behind the ego and behind the ego the ego protects them and then the communication is muffled so we end up dropping our standards we learn to drop that ego and recognize our vulnerabilities and recognize the areas we need to improve in and we need to up the standards then we allow ourselves to be able to change. The reason people don't change is because of that internal dialogue inside of our minds, inside of our bodies and souls and spirits that says, you're not ready just to show up, not ready just to not press snooze, not ready just to be honest with how you feel with your partner, you're not honest to be fucking um, <clears throat> not drinking or, or, or not eating right, and you're happy just to accept that. The way to change is to change the inner dialogue, changing the communication, changing the standard, changing the outcome to make the right decisions. And it's fucking tough and it doesn't come overnight. It's something that takes months, sometimes fucking years to cons con consistently keep talking to yourself. Why do I need to be out running this morning? For example, me coming up this morning, I just wanna fucking run. I just wanna go walk down the seafront. But it's that in a, in a con communication, it's like, you've got to go for the run. You've got to sharpen up. Because usually how I, how I perform in my fitness is how I perform in the rest of my life. If I'm sloppy with my fitness and my nutrition, I'm sloppy with my routine. Which is why I'm trying to build up that, that, that sharp sword, sharpening the sword. Spit it out, James. That's why I'm trying to sharpen the sword by getting back out in the mornings, by doing the runs, by doing the workouts. I don't necessarily always want to do them, but it's the communication that you have with yourself. Because if I don't, I know the alternative. The standards are not where I want them to be, not just in one area, but across the board. 
So remember that continual internal communication, that dialogue with yourself. Got to do it. Why am I going to do it? My standards are high. I want to change. Or you end up staying the same, right? Um, listen, just a short, sharp one this morning. I'm going to crack on running. I hope you have an amazing day. Looks like it's going to be a good one. I'll catch up with you on Wednesday. No show tomorrow. Back to just Monday, Wednesday and Friday this week.